Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Monday Night Brewing, so thank you guys so much. Uh, they're from Georgia and this is Anti Meridium. Uh, this is a bourbon barrel aged imperial brown ale brewed with maple syrup, coffee, and vanilla. So that sounds quite decadent and delicious. So we'll see how this one turns out. This is a big beer. This one comes in at uh, 13.5. So pours out a nice dark brown coming out of the bottle uh, in the glass. It's pretty dark. I mean, an Imperial Brown Ale, this appearance wise is like a porter to stout. I mean, that doesn't even look like barley wine. That's really dark. This 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 in the glass looks like a an Imperial Porter, something like that. Yeah. The head's actually not that dark, so that's sort of the giveaway, but this is pretty much a dark brown to black color. Let's get the rum on this one. Woo! <laughs> yeah, uh, that is a little bit of uh, light, uh, light roasty coffee, um, fudge notes, maple syrup, <laughs> it's brown sugar, oh man, a little bit of light woody character, and that's probably the, the, uh, both the uh, bourbon barrel quality and the maple syrup playing together. The toffee, rich sweetness, um, it has even a little bit of butterscotch note, but it's really intensely uh, just like a toffee for days. Wow. <laughs> oh. uh, a little bit of light, uh, not only coffee roast, but slight chocolate quality in there. Cheers. Wow. Okay. That's a big beer. It opens up your palate. Um, there's a sharp head of alcohol sort of uh, buzzes in there. I mean, for the ABV, you're going to get that. Oak is quite intense on the back end. Uh, rich tannins in there. Our front. This is barley wine for days. It's just like a smack of malt, brown sugar, driving for days. And the malt, uh, the maple syrup and the vanilla sweetness pushes that sweetness longer than you'd expect on the palate, uh, accentuated from probably the bourbon barrel as well. But uh, yeah, that oak is actually a little bit uh, important to sort of help dry out the beer because this beer is quite decadent. It is a sweeter, uh, it, it, let's call this a barley wine pretty much, a uh, burn barley, uh, barley wine. Hmm. Nice. I like the layering of coffee in there as well because it offers a little bit of roast and this kind of uh, uh, acidity and, and, and something to cut through how rich this beer is along with that oak tannin. Actually, the, the, from what I noticed, the coffee is actually the most predominant quality in here with the vanilla a little bit behind there and the maple syrup resonating, uh, playing with that barrel character and um, that, those, those rich, sweet malts in this one. Wow. Man, this is a rich, 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 rich beer. Uh, let me tell you. On the mouthfeel, it is uh, medium to medium plus, medium plus mouthfeel, not completely enveloping, but the amount of intensity of flavor is what I really get from this one. This beer is absolutely fantastic. This is amazing. This beer for me is getting a 96. Ah, this is good. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later. And to continue a little bit more uh, about barley wine is life. If you guys are on the Facebook group, let me know. If you like me and out, if you like don't drink beers, go check out this podcast, Malt Couture. That's the fun stuff. Uh, all the memes. Until next time, cheers. Later.